Hi, I'm Gary Worthington, and I'm going to show you a little bit today about how I use Createx fluorescent colors on t-shirts. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this positive stencil of a butterfly. I've sprayed it with a little bit of spray adhesive, and I'm going to adhere it to the shirt. I have my shirt stretched over a, a hardboard panel that I've shaped into the shape of a t-shirt. You can make these or you can buy them. Then I'm going to take Createx Black straight out of the bottle, no thinning, and I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a buffer around this stencil. What I'm trying to create here is a super dark edge that backs right up to the very bright nature of the fluorescent paint, and that makes it pop out. No need to worry about staying too tight here. You're just giving yourself a little border. Something to trap that fluorescent color when we pull it off. And this is just a quick, easy design that I use every day in my shop. It makes good money for me and it's easy to do. All these techniques are super easy and are good from, for beginners or intermediate to advanced painters, okay? So now I'm going to take a little bit of fluorescent purple and go around that. All right, so the black's giving me a little bit of a border. Now I'm just going to blast this in there. Notice how I'm not being careful about anything, and I'm really saturating that color. One thing that's really important when you're painting t-shirts like this is that color saturation. You really want to push that paint into the fabric like this. Okay? And now I'm just going to kind of go around, keep my needle clean, and I'm just going to go around and give it a little bit of action on the outside like that. A little bit of a border. Okay. So see how we did that? Go back in. Put a bunch of that in there. Alright. Now we're going to peel off our stencil. And if you notice, see how we have a nice clean edge that's really dark on the outside and it's really bright on the inside. That's one thing that I like to do. It really gives a lot of impact in your display and customers really love it when they have that. So now we're going to switch over to a couple other colors. Okay, now that I've switched over to Createx Fluorescent Pink, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to follow that edge with a tight line around every little shape that I have here. I'm really burying that pink in there. And I'm just kind of following the edge. I don't have to try to be too perfect with it because my dark outside border helps absorb it. So just going to do this around these edges. Now could you get away with just coloring this in a solid flat color? Sure. And it would look great, but this really just adds a little bit more of a dynamic nature to it. And you can use other colors as well. What you want to try to do is use complementary colors. In other words, if I'm using pink, I would use orange or yellow next. 
And if I'm using green, I would use yellow, but I wouldn't use pink or orange because if you spray those two together, it makes a little bit of a muddy color and it doesn't look too good. But I'm going to show you ways around that in just a second. Okay, so I've went around every shape, okay, and you can do all of that or just part of it. You don't have to do it exactly like that, but what I'm doing is I'm creating another popping color coming out. So now I'm going to put on the yellow. It's Createx fluorescent yellow, and I'm literally just going to bury this color in there. So by doing that, the pink and the yellow are mixing and making a little bit of an orange color. So I'll have two or three colors in there by using those two. All right. And again, there's nothing super advanced about this. It's just regular everyday shop type work that I do all year long. Okay. So now you see we kind of have that mixture of two colors. It's really bright. We got the dark outside and we're punching that in. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to green now. Well, first what I'll do is I'll, I'll paint a name on here. Okay. And I'm going to take Createx opaque black. All right. And I'm just going to write a name. Just a simple one stroke name, just like that. Now I'm going to switch over to green. And I'm going to create myself just a soft shaded wet area. Now, I know that these colors don't exactly work perfectly together, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you a little trick here. So I'm just taking air and I'm blowing off a little bit of that overspray off the black, bringing that back out a little bit. Now I'm going to switch over to pink while that's still wet. And I'm going to burn this pink into that green. Normally, you wouldn't be able to mix the two together very well, but while it's still wet and with a high pressure, you can come in and burn this color in. You see how it just pushes that green to the side and gives you a nice bright outline. So that's a few of the different ways you can use these fluorescent colors. These are some of the brightest most vibrant colors out there. They're some of the best I've used. I, you, you really want a nice, clean, bright fluorescent color and these really deliver.